It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for Ten. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for Ten. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you, and welcome to the Science Bowl, the science quiz program here in the Prince George's schools, where we test the scientific IQs of elementary and middle school students. Today, two great elementary teams. Let's meet them right now. First, from Mattapanai Elementary School, say hello to Bryce Stevens, Nora Bachman, and Rennie Pearson. And from Tyak Elementary, here they are, Gabrielle Stevens, Aldrin Duran, and Nathan Camposano. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on the Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty. With easier questions on the left worth 5 and 10, the tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest question of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. End of the two rounds, one of these two good-looking teams will come back to play our game again and perhaps advance to the elementary school semifinals. Let's go over and make sure everything's working properly. Let's go to the red team. Nora, would you try your buzzer for us? Thank you. Looks like it's working fine. Good luck to you, Rennie, and to Bryce. And Aldrin, would you try yours? It, too, looks to be in fine shape. Good luck to you and to Nathan and to Gabrielle. Congratulations on being chosen to be on Science Bowl. You've won already just by being here. Let's have a good game. We go alphabetically M before T. So, Mattapanai, Nora, let's play the bowl. Give me a category and a number. Zoo Parade for 10. Zoo Parade for 10 points. Team's kind of disgusting. If you catch a grasshopper and he spits in your hand, or if you get too close to a vulture and he vomits on you, or a skunk sprays you, it is not an offensive reaction. It is all just their what? Defense. Not a penai. Their defense. It's defense, that's right. They're just trying to say, get away from me. They're not trying to kill you or harm you. Just leave me alone. Good answer. Go red. Yes, ma'am. Body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, the number one reason people go to doctors is because they're doing this, which is often caused by an upper respiratory infection. What are the people doing that causes them to go to the doctor most often? Nora. Coughing. Coughing. Yes, ma'am. Good answer. An upper respiratory, lung. She was making the association. What noise are they making? Coughing. Good deduction. Go. Red. Science potpourri for 15. Science potpourri for 15 points. Teams, the famous scientist Albert Einstein was quoted as saying that scientists sometimes get things wrong because the devil leads them by the nose with false scientific guesses. What's the H initial term for a scientific guess? Hypothesis. 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 Absolutely right. False hypotheses. The devil made you do it. Yeah, go. Red. Green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. Teams, big word, simple answer. The urushiol oil in this plant is so that the plant can retain water in its leaves, not to get on you to give you a rash that you got a scratch. Matapanai. Poison ivy. Poison ivy, absolutely right. That's the oil in the poison ivy. It really doesn't want to hurt you. It just says, leave me alone. I want to keep the water in my leaves. Come on, Tyek, you got to be thinking, you got to be talking to each other. I want to see you talk to each other over there. Okay, let's see some ferment. Go, Rick. Let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams in the movie Despicable Me, Gru tried to shrink the moon. If he had succeeded, 
what oceanic events wouldn't happen every day here on Earth, Mattapanai? High tides. High tides and low tides, that's right. The pool, the gravitational, the moon of the moon causes the tides to go up and down. Thank you, Bryce, for your assist on that. Go, Nora. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, it is important that chimpanzees are used in research to develop a vaccine for hepatitis C. Hepatitis C in human beings is a bad disease that affects what largest of your internal organs? Come on, think about an uh, internal organ, a big one. Hepatitis C. No takers? Nora. Lungs. Not the lungs, good try. Kayak? Liver. Liver is right, yes, good comeback. That's what you gotta do. All right, now I'm seeing some smiles over here. That's what I want. Okay, Aldrin, your choice. Go green. Uh, science potpourri for 10. Science potpourri for 10 points. Teams, the big chunks of ice that are calved from glaciers are known as these. Kayak. Comets. Not comets, no. The big chunks of ice that are calved from glaciers are known as these. You can't ring in twice. Red team. Icebergs. Yes, ma'am. Icebergs, like the Titanic ran into an iceberg. Yes, good. Nice comeback, Red. Your turn. Green, Green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. Teams, scientists have recently been able to decode the genome, all the genes of this simplest green aquatic plant to find, and have found out how to get oil from them, Mattapanai. Algae. Algae, yeah, the oil from algae. They can use it for fuel and food and even for cosmetics. Good teamwork over here, Red. Go. Keep talking to each other over Zoo there. Zoo prayed for 15. Zoo prayed for 15 points. Teams, please. Zoo prayed for 15 points as a visual question. Could you look at the monitor, please? Teams, this creature is called a water bear. It's actually on, only half a millimeter long. It is because it has no backbone. It is not a bear at all. It rather belongs to this phylum of creatures. No backbone, Tyak. Invertebrates. Invertebrates, yes. It is a kind of invertebrate. Nicely done. Okay, go green. Um, let's get physical for five. Get physical for five points. Teams, despite the efforts of President George W. Bush, we have really never developed cars that run on this kind of gas. The first... Yes, Tyak. What is it? Coal. Coal. Not coal. No, gas was the clue there. Because despite what President Bush wanted, we have never developed a fleet of cars that runs on this kind of gas. It is the first chemical element on the periodic table. Name that gas. Hydrogen? Hydrogen, yes ma'am, all right. Boy, I didn't know you were gonna come up with that one. The buzzer is rung. We've come to the end of the first round of questioning. It's been a good round. Let's check that score. Matt Panay, 135, Tayek at 80. We've got plenty more science bowl ahead. Don't go away, we'll be right back. It takes more than perfect balance. More than a great pair of legs. More than a good sword. It takes more than just talent. More than the will to win. It takes you. It takes your donations to support the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic teams. And now you can donate on Facebook. He's done it! The U.S. has done it! Support the U.S. Olympic team on Facebook and donate to make Olympic dreams come true. Hello, I'm Tom Selleck. In every generation, men and women have come forward to fight for freedom and defend our liberty. Over 58,000 of them are named on the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. Join me in supporting a new campaign to build an education center near the wall to tell their stories and teach about the values of those who have served in the past and who serve today. Learn how you can help. Thank you.
And welcome back to Science Well, Nice to have you with us. Thank you for spending part of your day here. We've just started our elementary season, and we couldn't ask for six better players than we have right now. But we're going to give them a little bit of a break before we ask them any more science questions. Let's find out about them and their schools. Matta Panay, nice to have you here. You've been here over the years. This is our 28th year. It started long before you guys were born, but you're part of a nice tradition. And Rennie, I know your brother was on Science Bowl. You were telling me earlier on when he was at Phyllis E. Williams. So it's nice that it's a family tradition for you. Nora, tell us about Matta Panay. Who's your principal? Miss uh, Dr. Hay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. It's hard to be on TV okay. with all these lights in your eyes. <laughs> and uh, your principal is behind you 100%. Who's the sponsor of your team? Miss Madison. Miss Madison. She's been sending us great teams over the years, and we appreciate all the work that she does. And did you have any alternates on your team? Nyla Blackman. Nyla. And Nyla will be out with Miss Madison at the end of the show so we can see her. Tell me what it is about Matta Panay that makes it a special school. Why do you like going there? Because we have creative teachers. Um, yeah. They like, they make the lesson so it's more fun and the students are more attentive since the, since the lesson is more fun or I think what you said is just yeah. wonderful because yeah, if fun. teachers take the time to want to do something to keep your attention, uh, they've earned your attention. And if they're nice and they want to make it fun, you've got it all. It's a perfect school. Uh, before I leave you, Nora, what do you want to do when you get older? I want to be an architect. Architect. And you were telling me you wanted to design buildings and houses, yeah? <laughs> You'll be good at that. You're a good captain. Nice to have you back because you were here last year as well. Rennie, nice to have you with us. Tell me the Rennie story. What do you do in your spare time? Uh, I really just either I'm watching TV or I'm outside playing basketball yeah. um, with my brother. Yeah. So you're you don't play on an organized team, but you like to play uh, with your brother there. Do you have a favorite TV show, Rennie? Science Bowl. What's your favorite TV <laughs> show? <laughs> now, what's your favorite show? I don't have one. There's so many out there, right? You know, it, it changes from day to day. They keep changing. Nice to have you with us, Bryce. Nice to have you here. This young man uh, pilots a plane. Your dad owns a plane, and you also have remote-controlled helicopters. What do you like about being up there? Well, it's different from being on the ground. You see everything tinier than what you see right here. Yeah, everything is kind of reduced in scale. Would you like to be a professional pilot someday? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you also told me you're interested in being an astronaut, yeah? Yep. You'd be good at that. You seem like a very level-headed, smart young guy, and uh, I can see you up there. Good luck to you. Keep up your good work here. Tyak, nice to have you guys here. You're wearing your school uniforms today, and Tyke is down there in the southern part of the county, as is Matta Panay. Who's your principal, Alder? Uh, Dr. Carr. And Dr. Carr is out there rooting for you. And who's your sponsor? Um, Jones. Miss Jones, that's right. Miss Shelley Jones. Jones, yes. And she's been coming a number of years now, and it's really good to have her part of Science Bowl. She's a valuable part of our organization here. Did you have any alternates on your team, Alder? No. No, it's just the three of you. You're doing a great job by yourself. Tell me, I asked Nora what she liked about Matta Panay. What are you proudest of at Tyak? What do you really brag about when you tell people, I go to Tyak? What's good about that place? It, everything. Everything. Boy, I like that answer. Is the food good in the cafeteria? I could say. All right. Aldrin, tell me about yourself. I know you told me that you're blowing on your thumb. That's your good luck charm here today, right? Yeah. What do you want to do when you get older? Oh, I want to be a doctor because um, it's part about science. Yeah, science and medicine, they kind of go together, don't they? What do you do in your spare time? I like to play video games and sleep. Yeah. You told me you're a good sleeper, aren't you? Yeah. Yes, sir. S sleep is very restorative, and uh, if you can sleep well, that's a gift, which you obviously have. Nathan, nice to have you here. You told me you like science. It's one of your favorite subjects. You're in the right place here. Uh, Tell me the, the Nathan story. What do you do in your spare time? I like to play video games in my spare time. Yeah. And professionally, what do you want to do someday? I want to be an engineer. Engineer. So you're a good math student as well. Gabrielle, nice to have you here. She was telling us earlier that she recommends The Diary of a Wimpy Kid. She's an avid reader, and you like the book, huh? Yes. Yeah. Readers do extremely well on Science Bowl. They do extremely well in life. So if you're reading now, just keep that up. That's a habit you should never, never lose. Gabrielle, what do you hope to do someday? I want to be a chemistry teacher. Chemistry teacher. How did that come about? Um, I was just watching TV. And it was like I was just uh, looking at the uh, vinegar and baking soda thing and how it reacted, and I liked that. And it, I knew it was more things that could react. Yeah. So I wanted to experiment with those. 
So you could do that every day. You could enchant your students with experiments. It's like the Mentos candies and the Diet Coke, you know, that create those giant volcanoes, even better than vinegar and baking soda. Don't do that in your kitchen, though. Your mother will never <laughs> forgive me. All right, let's get back to our game. Tyek, 80, Mattapanai, 135. Lots of points to give away. The big, tough questions are left. Still, anybody can win this game. Last correct answer came from Red. Nora, start us out. Let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. Teams, we weather people talk about high-pressure systems and low-pressure systems. Those pressure systems are measured by what? B initial instrument. The, bar Matt the barometer? Yes, ma'am. The barometer, the barometric pressure. Nicely done. Got yourself an extra 20 points. Go. Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Teams, some scientists cynically are saying, well, what about flower education or root education? Since we're calling the new science education this kind of education that is the same as the stock of a plant. Tyak. <laughs> Is it a root? Not root, no. Nora? STEM. STEM education, yes. Yeah. Science, technology, engineering, and math. So everyone's talking about STEM education. So what about the flowers and the roots? Just making some fun there. Good comeback, okay? Listen more carefully. Gabrielle and Nathan, help them out there. Help them out. Go, Nora. Zoo parade for 20. Zoo parade for 20 points. Teams in the movie Jurassic Park when the velociraptors were chasing the two kids into the laboratory and the velociraptor looked in and the window fogged up. That was evidence that unlike most reptiles, dinosaurs were homeothermic, meaning they were what? Matapanai. Warm-blooded? Yes, ma'am, warm-blooded. Unlike most reptiles that have cold blood in their veins. Good, red. Science potpourri for 20. Potpourri for 20 points. Look at the monitor, please. Visual question. Teams, scientists at the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service are now counting salmon and certain kinds of birds with thermal imaging cameras attached to these pilotless planes that are often used in war. Can you name those? Matapanai. Drones. Drones, indeed. Our pilot is right there. I'm sure Bryce is familiar with the drones. Good. Go. Red. Body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, if you have a baby brother or sister at home and you're trying to potty train them, sometimes there is defecation anxiety. They don't want to go, which means they get what condition when they can't go? What do you think, guys? They're constipated. Constipation. <laughs> Oh, I can't say that in public. That can't be the answer, but it was. Go red. All right. Oh, let's get physical. All right. Let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Teams, there are five and a half hours more hours of daylight on June 21st than on December 21st, which are respectively the summer and the winter. What? Sol Matapanai. Solstice. I heard that in triplicate. Absolutely right. The solstices. Good. Go red. Green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, they say it's not true, but since the paper money we have in our wallet is made with cotton fibers, maybe it is true that money can grow on these. <laughs> Metaphonai. <laughs> trees. Trees, that's right. They say money doesn't grow on trees, but it sort of does, even though cotton is a bush as opposed to a tree, but that's just kind of splitting hairs. Go again, Red. Zoo parade for five. Zoo parade for five points. Teams, when Europeans first came to America, they didn't know anything about the cougars and the other big cats. All they knew about from Europe was the big, bad what? Tyak. Lion. Not lion, no. The big, bad what, Nora? Wolf. Wolf, the big, bad wolf. Yes, they had wolves in Europe. They had never seen cougars before, so I'm sure a lot of them uh, didn't have some nice run-ins at the beginning. Go, Red. Body systems for five. Body systems for five points. Teams, we humans like to eat these of other animals, but in our cervical area, we humans too have spare what bones? Ribs. Matapanai. Ribs. Ribs, yeah, we got some spare ribs of our own. All right, Red. Go. Oh, pfft. Dateline science for five. Dateline for five points. Teams, 
Recently, we got very concerned because the redwood trees and the giant sequoias were being threatened by a forest fire in what Y initialed National Park. What? Tyak. Yellowstone Park. Yellowstone Park. What? Yellowstone Park. Not Yellowstone, Yellowstone Park. no, Mattapanai. What Y initialed National Park was recently threatened with a forest fire that endangered the giant redwoods and the sequoias. It's Yosemite. Yosemite, that's the Y, not Yellowstone. The clue there were the trees. Go again, red. Science potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points. Teams, if Goldilocks had been an astronomer, she might have called these Ursa Major and Ursa Minor. Taya. Come on, Aldrin, we're pulling for you. What was she talking about? Goldilocks. What? Asteroids. What? Asteroids. Not asteroids, no. Mattapanai, if Goldilocks had been an astronomer, she might have called these Ursa Major and Ursa Minor. Bears? The bears, yeah. Ursa Major is Big Bear, Ursa Minor is the Little Bear, and they are constellations. That's why we had the astronomer thrown in. Try again, Red. Green things for 25. Ring things for 25, big one in that category. Teams, the rings that you find inside of trees are part of what X-initialed vascular system in the plant that brings water and food from the roots up into the plant. X-initialed. Xylem is the right answer. Try again, red. <sighs> Zoo parade for 25. Zoo parade for 25 points. Teams. I don't expect that you've ever read this book, but you might have heard of it. The author Hyper, Harper Lee said of this bird, they don't eat up people's gardens, they don't nest in corn cribs, they don't do anything other than sing their hearts out for us. Aldrin? The killer mockingbird? Yes, to kill a mockingbird is absolutely right. We are floored. That was one of the toughest questions in the game. You got it. Good going, young man. Go, green. Um. Let's get physical for 25. Let's get physical 25. You're on a roll. Get this one. Teams, the television commercial for Celebrex that says, a body in motion tends to stay in motion. Is all about the first law of motion, Mattapanai. Inertia. Not inertia. Tyak. The first law of motion, a body in motion tends to stay in motion, was proposed by this famous scientist. Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton. You got it, Isaac Newton. Thank you, Gabrielle. Go Tyak. Thank you. Um, Dateline signed for 10. Dateline for 10 points. Teams, a new airplane called the Solar Impulse has 12,000 solar panels that are rejuvenated each day by the sun so that what are charged so that the thing can fly also at night. What is being charged, Tyak? Solar power. Mm, give me more. Race. Race. Yes, ma'am. Solar cells. Solar cells. Judges? Yes, we're going to give that to you. Yes, batteries was the specific, but the judges say solar cells is enough. Go red. Dateline signs for 20. Dateline for 20 points. Teams. 3D printers are all the rage. They are now being able, they are now turning out these polyp produced skeletons that we now find offshore under the ocean where fish swim in and out. Tyak. Fossils. Again? Fossils. Not fossils, no. Mattapanai, these uh, polyp produced skeletons are now being turned out by 3D printers that form just off the coast under the ocean, things that fish swim in and out of. Anemones? It's coral reef. A coral reef is what we're looking for there. Try again, red. Four Date questions left. Points. Nora. Dateline science for 15. Dateline for 15 points. Teams, we can't bring back the dinosaurs, but scientists now, because they have enough DNA, are able to bring back, we think, one of these extinct birds. What kind of p initial bird? Yes, Tyak. Pterodactyl? Not the pterodactyl. Good try. What kind of p initial extinct birds that once, Mattapanai, once blackened the skies of America? They are now extinct. It was the passenger what? I'll pass it on to Bryce. Bryce. Yes. Passenger pigeon. Yes, indeed. That smile told me he knew that one from the get-go. Passenger pigeon, yes. Good. Go red. Bobby 
Body systems for 15. Body, well, body systems 25. for 25 points. Teams, dogs are very good detectives because their noses have over 50, three, excuse me, 300 million more olfactory cells than our nose does. They are so good because they can do what? Two things separately through their nose that we do through one nose. What two things do they do separately that we do together? Smell. And? Taste, taste. Taste. No. Matapanai, they do what two things separately through their nose that we do at the same time? S smell and breathe. Smell and breathe. That's it. Good. Oh, the buzzer is rung. That means our game is over. Tyak made a run at it, but I think Matapanai has hung on. We'll be back with a wrap-up in just a moment. Don't go away. Hello? Hello? I've been on the street for a while. I've been on the street for a while. I saw your post on site. I saw your post on site. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. National to Runaway do. Switchboard, how can I help? Call 1 800 Runaway to make the connection. the size bowl great game here today we are proud of all six of our players our final tally today is Tyak 130 Mattapanai 300 points what a game you had Bryce and Nora and Rennie congratulations and Nyla Blackman waved everybody Nyla our safety patrol back there the alternate and Miss Madison congratulations we will see you in the next round I want to see some big smiles over here Tyak you played a good game you held back and you really came on strong at the end Gabrielle and Aldrin and Nathan, thank you for being here today. I want to see you back here one more time when you get to middle school. And Ms. Jones, thank you for always being such a great sponsor. Good to have you on Science Bowl. And it's good to have you here. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye now.